Hi, everyone. I just want to share a few thoughts about um, what I think makes a good online facilitator who hosts equitable and engaging online spaces. Um, speaking of spaces, you might be able to hear the rain um, splashing down outside. I'm recording this in Galway, Ireland um, in the evening uh, in April 2024. A good online facilitator who hosts equitable and engaging spaces, um, I think, is differentiated by one main thing, and that is that they care about and focus on the participant experience more than um, the presenter or facilitator information to be shared. I've seen this over many years, and I think it is the most important value of good online facilitators. I aspire to it myself. Um, and always try to keep improving in this respect. So uh, designing activities and facilitating activities in such a way that every participant can have the best possible experience means really thinking about and focusing on the participants um, above all. So many different variables will affect how one does this um, and, and um, the assumptions you make, the activities you plan, and even the expectations you have. Uh, for how things might go. So these um, different factors might be the type of event, um, uh, a conference workshop where the participants are wholly unknown to you before the event um, would be planned very differently from planning for an identifiable group, a group of students or a group of colleagues. Um, if the context is a higher education class, for example, where students are being marked for their activities, um, that would might um, give you ideas for one set of activities where if it's um, a professional development group um, that you might have other um, make other plans or if it's a voluntary gathering around a particular idea or a particular activity. Um, another factor to consider is geography and time zones. So um, is everyone in the same or approximately the same time zone? If so, you know whether it's morning, afternoon, evening, and you can again design activities accordingly. If participants can be anywhere um, in any part of the globe, you can't assume what time of day it is or even what season it is. So again, this can help facilitators to take care in choice of activity and even the language that they use. So one uh, straightforward example might be um, cameras on or cameras off uh, in a Zoom or Teams or similar platform. Uh, from a facilitator perspective, sure, it's lovely um, to see everyone's faces. Um, but who are the participants and where are they um, and what's going on for them? What time of day is it for them? What might be going on in the spaces where they are in, where they are joining the online meeting from? Have they likely been online a lot already today? Um, might they have competing demands on their time at the, at the same time this event is on? Um, if so, perhaps um, the facilitator could think of alternative ways of making community other than eye contact. Um, that can be used to alleviate pressure on participants. So overall, I think being willing to think ahead uh, about the participants, to pause, to check and recalibrate during um, the event, whatever it might be, all of these things model openness, humility, being a learner oneself, um, being a caring person, and these things really mark good facilitation and equitable engaging spaces. Thank you.